All right, so today we're learning how to add logos to your t-shirts in very quick and very easiest way within Photoshop. Hello everyone, this is Nitin and welcome to QSS that is quick solution series and today's topic is how to add logos to your t-shirts in very quick and very easiest way. All right, so let's start with the importing the file into the Photoshop. Let's create open and press OK. And here it is. I downloaded this picture from freepick.com. All right, so let's also drag the logo. Logo also I downloaded from the Google, just a random design. Let's just resize it. Keep in center like this. And uh, let's rotate a little, just a little bit like this one. And uh, I think we are done with this. Okay, first of all, just hide the logo for now. So now what we have to do is we have to create a separate displacement PhD file from this photo. So to do that, let's go to the filter. Let's go to the filter. Under the filter, go to the blur. Under the blur, go to the surface blur. Okay, click on it and make sure to keep the radius around 18 and threshold around 160 and press OK. Like this and it's going to take a few seconds. And now uh, let's go to the file and go to the save as a copy and in case you don't find this option as a save as copy maybe you are using the older versions so no need to worry about it you can just uh, save as a different phd file with a different name normal save as file okay so let's continue or right, so let's save as a copy and let's rename it to displacement map and save as a type as a phd okay now click on save all right now come back to the uh, the raw file the previous file we had control z okay now we are back with the no filter supplied on it okay now also just create a copy of this picture by pressing ctrl j on the keyboard okay let's hide this one for now and now is the time for the logo let's unhide it and go to the blending mode and and make it multiply okay click on multiply as you click on multiply go to the opacity and keep the opacity around 90 okay now you can just go to the filters under the filters go to the distort and under the distort you can just click on this displace and now is the time to recall that file that we saved as earlier as a displacement map and uh, let's keep the setting as a 10 and 10 and press ok on it you can just click on the displacement map and open it okay so it will again take a few seconds all right so so if we zoom a little we can find that it, we don't find any textures of the shirt on the logo to get that get those realistic textures on the this logo what we have to do is just drag this co copy of this picture that we created earlier and unhide it and now we can just use as a clipping mask on it on our logo by pressing alt like this so we have to change our blending mode and click on linear dodge add okay and make your opacity around uh, 60 not 60 keep it 50 okay so just click on it again and just go to the image and under the image go to the adjustment and here we can click on levels so this is the final part of this tutorial you can just adjust according to what suits you let me decrease it around point, point 0.5 yeah point 0.4 is fine press okay and now if we zoom it and we can find the textures on the sh uh, on the logo so this is how you can put any logo on your t-shirts and uh, you can create mockups for your client and uh, if you have further more queries you can just comment down in the comment box i'll try to make the video by the next friday till then stay safe be creative bye bye